Today, let's convert a Glock 21, chambered in 45 ACP, into a butt kick in 10 millimeter. To perform this conversion, you'll need these four parts. A Glock 20 barrel, a heavier recoil spring, a 10 millimeter extractor, and a Glock 20 magazine. I actually decided to do this conversion for two reasons. First off, I no longer own the Glock 20 10 millimeter. I sold it and have absolutely no seller's regret associated with that decision. Secondly, since I own this Glock 21, I can simply swap out a few parts and still have a Glock 10 millimeter at my disposal. Now that we have the Glock 21 apart, let's go over a few things you need to know. First off, the recoil spring for the Glock 21 45 ACP is actually too soft to work with a more powerful 10 millimeter round. To prevent frame bashing, you'll definitely want to install a heavier recoil spring. Depending on the type of 10 millimeter ammo you decide to shoot, a 20 or even a 22 pound recoil spring is necessary to run this conversion successfully. With the ammo I shoot, the 20 pound recoil spring works perfectly. The frames on the G21 and the G20 are identical and interchangeable. Therefore, the frame mounted ejector doesn't have to be replaced. It works just fine ejecting either cartridge. The extractor, on the other hand, is different. The 10 millimeter round has a slightly smaller case head diameter than the 45. Therefore, you will need to install a 10 millimeter extractor. You can usually pick one up for around 10 bucks. Replacing the extractor is pretty simple and just takes a few minutes. There's plenty of tutorial videos here on YouTube that demonstrate how to install or replace a Glock extractor. Since this procedure is exactly the same for any Glock, it really doesn't matter which video you watch. Instead of using the Glock factory barrel, I went with one from Storm Lake. This Storm Lake conversion barrel is match grade and it comes with button type rifling, which is a bonus if you like to shoot economical cast or swedge lead bullets. Glock advises that you not shoot cast bullets in any of their barrels, the type of rifling Glock uses in their barrels is designed for jacketed bullets and doesn't work all that well with cast bullets. Since this Storm Lake barrel is equipped with button type rifling, it will shoot cast or jacketed bullets equally well. The chamber dimensions on this Storm Lake barrel are also much better than what you'll find on a Glock factory barrel. Case head support is also a lot more precise making it much less likely you'll ever experience a case head blowout, or even worse, a complete case head separation. If you're not quite sure what I'm referring to here, I'll leave a link below to a video I uploaded a while back. That video dealt specifically with shooting high intensity 10 millimeter ammo in more detail. If you've a mind to, you can check out that video. This conversion really is pretty simple and it does allow me to shoot whichever round I choose, which, by the way, makes this Glock 21 a lot more versatile than it used to be. The total cost for this conversion was around $150, which is certainly less expensive than buying another Glock 20. For all practical purposes, this Glock 21 becomes a Glock 20 by just swapping out a few parts. Anyway, I thought some of you Glock 21 or potential Glock 21 owners might be interested in this conversion. Until next time, practice often, shoot straight, and thanks for stopping by.